Chapter 2, Section 4. Our essential question today is how can you add and subtract decimals? The key idea, the key idea for adding and subtracting decimals, and I would like you to write this down, is to add or subtract decimals, you have to write the numbers vertically and line up the decimal points then bring down the decimal point and add or subtract as you would with whole numbers. That is a really key point, so please pause this, write it in your notes, and come back. All right, let's take a look at subtracting decimals. Notice, first of all, they don't leave it in a in an equation from left to right. They do write it up and down just like you would a normal subtraction problem. The decimals are lined up straight down into the answer. If I were to ask you how do you know your answer is right, you estimate again. So periodically I may say to you, tell me if your answer is reasonable, show me if your answer is reasonable, and you would do this just like you would with fractions. All right, and then you do your subtraction like normal, and your decimal point will fall in the correct place. Do numbers 1 through 6 of on your own, and come back when you're done. All right, let's take a look at example 3, which is a real-life situation um, for adding and subtracting decimals. Your meal at the school cafeteria costs $3.45. Your friend's meal costs $3.90. You pay for both meals with a $10 bill. How much change do you receive? Here's where you think about what do you want to know? Well, I want to know the amount of change. That's my answer. Well, how am I going to find that out? Well, I'm going to find that out by figuring out my big number, the amount given. The amount given is this $10 bill. And from there, you're going to take out the cost of your meal and the cost of your friend's meal. Because you know PEMDAS and you want to figure this out first, putting it in parentheses is your best bet. So you've got to figure out the cost of your meal plus the cost of your friend's meal. Put that part in parentheses. That way you have to do that first. Then, write the problem with the numbers. You, you don't know the amount of change, so you can't do anything there. Your amount that you gave them was $10. Then you subtracted the total of these two. But this is your original equation. These are the verbal words. These are the actual numbers. Then, step two is $10 minus $7.35, which is the total of that and then it equals $2.65. So you receive $2.65. What this verbal model helps you with is when any time you have a problem, a word problem, a situation that you have to figure out, okay, what do I need from this story? The words help you. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the amount of change. Well, how am I going to figure that out? Whatever your brain tells you is what you write out in words if it's necessary. Okay, and next, let's go to lesson four. The Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool is approximately rectangular. Its width is 50.9 meters. Here's the sample here. And its length is 618.44 meters. You walk the perimeter of the pool. Think about what perimeter is. About how many meters do you walk? Well, we know that perimeter equals side, 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 side. You're walking around the whole thing. All right, so you need to add everything up. Once you know what you're looking for, which is perimeter, you know what to figure out. First thing they did was take all the sides, line up the decimal points straight through. Okay? 
you can write this answer in estimation, estimation or in exact. In this case, they said, so you walk about 1,339 meters. Because they use the word approximately rectangular, you want to say about. You just have to use the words in the problem to figure out how to answer it. But I would have counted this as right and or this as right. All right. Do problems 7 and 8 on your own. Show your work. And we'll see you in class tomorrow.